Hey, what's up guys? It's Andre Other Hair bringing you guys another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use a sample to make one of my best drill beats. Let's get into it. All right guys, so as you can see, we are here in FL Studio. I have the beat loaded up. I have the whole project loaded up and finished for you guys. And um, yeah, so let's start with the sample. The sample was originally from a Black Rob song, R.I.P. Black Rob, because I heard he actually passed a few weeks ago, so R.I.P. to him. But the sample was from his song, Whoa. I'm only gonna play like three seconds of it though, just because of obviously copyright uh, issues, but this is sample. Yeah, and then Sweetie <laughs> actually used this um, sample in her song called Pretty Bitch Freestyle. So let's just, let's see how she used it. So that's how she used it. I kind of liked how it sounded better in her in her song just because it kind of had uh, less um, uh, bass frequencies and it was just easier to sample. So yeah, I just dragged that into FL. As you can see, it's called Pretty Bitch Freestyle because I literally just took it straight from her song. Um, yeah, and the sample just sounds like this. Yeah, so obviously, I have to slow it down. I pitched it up about 300 cents. Um, just changed the, the um, key of it. And um, yeah, I was liking how it sounded. So I forgot to mention, I actually added half time to uh, the, the string sample just to give it that drill vibe as well. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, I did add half time to it. That's how the beat started off. And obviously when you have those strings and stuff like that, anybody who listens to drill music knows that the strings and any kind of orchestral kind of sounds instantly give that uh, that drill kind of vibe. So the next thing I did after that, I went into arcade because I love to go into arcade and I love to use the kind of distant voices, especially when I do a drill beat because again, that those kind of haunting, uh, chilling kind of sounding, you know, really reverberated um, kind of voices gives that kind of drill kind of uh, vibe. So I went into arcade, I went into distant voices, I went into forever more, and then I found this kind of little vocal right here. This is how it sounded originally. Always by your side. Always by your side. And then I chopped up a little bit just to make it sound like this. Yeah, just because I felt like it kind of added more bounce to the beat. Um, the reason why I consolidated it and turned it into an audio track is sometimes when I use arcade, it's a little bit delayed. So I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but it's a little bit delayed and I kind of just like to move it into an audio track just to kind of have more control over it. Um, but yeah, so if we listen to the sample and the arcade, just sound like this. Yeah, so it sounds good. Um, so I then added some more melodies to it just because I liked how it sounded, but I felt it sounded a little bit empty. So I added these strings, but it's very simple string uh, chord progression, um, just because it just added more to the beat, added a different dynamic to the beat. And um, yeah, it sounds like this. Perfect. It's like these staccato kind of strings that just hit. Um, I forgot where I even use this from. Um, yeah, I actually use this um, preset from Scalar, Scalar 2. Um, so I use their staccato strings, and yeah, I really liked how that sounded actually. So if we had that with everything else, it should sound like this. It kind of just adds a chord progression to uh, the string melody from the original sample. And then I added the same kind of chord progression. But obviously I had it so a choir was playing that. 
uh, was singing that same chord progression and I forgot where I even got the choir from actually. Um, so I got the choirs from Omnisphere. I really liked how it sounded. Again, those orchestral kind of sounds go really well with drill beats because it just gives that haunting uh, kind of feel to it. So if you listen to everything together, the beat should sound like this. And actually, this is when I actually switched up the arcade vocal. So it kind of had it a little bit more bounce. Um, but yeah, it sounds like this. And I forgot to mention as well, uh, the strings, I added another string here, so I made it unique and I also added another little melody to the strings that you guys heard. So I added this little melody there, just to kind of add a little bit more musicality to the beat. And obviously you guys just heard it, but let's play it again. I just thought it went really well. Um, with the melodies but that was pretty much it for the melodies that those are all the melodies that made up the beat um, so if you move on to the drums let's start off with the snares because that's the first thing you see here snares um, I just got it from a drill kit um, it's just your standard drill sounding snares I just a uh, standard drill snare pattern uh, very basic I didn't really do anything to um, creative with the snares. Hi-hat, same thing really, same story. Just these drill hi-hats. And obviously I love to mess around with the velocity. That's a huge key when you're doing hi-hats and drill beats. To add that bounce, mess around with the velocity of the hi-hats, get some rolls in there. As you can see, I have this one coming up like that. So if you listen to the hi-hats, nice little bounce. And that's what you want. You want these short, little flicked kind of sounding hi hats. You don't want anything too long. Those are the kind of hi hats that are really bang and drill beats. So if you listen to that with the with the snares, I like to have the snares really loud as well, so they really hit. Um, next thing I did was some kicks. I had two different little kick patterns. Again, the kicks, just your standard hard hitting kind of drill kicks. I boosted the kicks as well just to make sure they hit even harder and that's obviously really important when you're doing a drop beat because you want the kicks to bang and really kick through the mix um, so yeah this is a kick pattern very simple nothing crazy uh, this is the other kick pattern <clears throat> I had also just to switch up a little bit just to make sure it didn't get too repetitive so I just added a couple more kicks in there So that's how it sounds and it actually goes really well uh, with the 808s as well but I'll show you guys that after. So if you listen to the hi-hats, the snares and the kicks all together. I love those snares by the way. Standing little drill drums right there. I love those snares. Um, but yeah, this way it gets really fun. So these are the bass that well, this is the bass um, Again, so it's a standard drill kind of bass with nice release a very long bass That's hard-hitting heavy uh, with a little bit of distortion in it And that's kind of what you're looking for when you're trying to find a bass to eight to weights in a drill beat So if you listen to the bass line as you can see here I have some glides going on. So let's have a listen to it very simple I like to have this little bass glide that goes down a lot of people don't use that but I think it sounds really cool you know I think it's cool um, another quick tip of the bass this is how I have it here um, so the envelope again hold everything down keep the hold up and I like to turn the attack up to around 15% just so it sounds kind of dipped um, and that's kind of a, a standard thing you see with a lot of drill beats is they, they kind of turn their attack off of the 808s just so it sounds a bit more dipped and that's kind of a characteristic that kind of makes a drill beat sound like a drill beat but anyways this is the second high um, second 808 pattern it's very similar to the first but let's change it around a bit you know what I mean just so the beat didn't sound too repetitive but if you listen to that with the rest of the drums you'll see what I mean when I say the kicks match the 808 so you 
know what I mean? It just goes really well. Um, so yeah, those were the, uh, the drums. Um, the last thing I added was just these little effects. So this is just a standard drill kind of um, reverberate gunshot sound effect that you hear in a lot of drill beats. It sounds like this. Yeah, you hear that all the time in drill beats. And then I added another sound effect. You guys will recognize this as well. Yeah, you normally hear that in uh, a lot of trap beats as well. So if you listen to that. And we listen to the rest of the drums. Nothing crazy, just standard stuff. Then I added a riser as well. I also added this little sound effect. I just thought it sounded cool when the beat first drops to kind of hear that. Again, it kind of sets that kind of that vibe, that drill kind of vibe. Um, I also, well, this is my tag actually. Um, I also added a little up riser. I think that sounds really good when you kind of um, enter a different section of your beat. So when you move from this the um, intro section into the verse section I think it sounds really good, especially when you introduce other instruments like hey as you can see It's just a melody, but then I introduced the bass and the hi-hats and the, um, the the sound effects and then also I added in yeah, so when I introduce those different elements of the beat, I have the whoosh just to kind of give you some sort of, it just propels you into the different section of the beat. But yeah, that's um, pretty much everything. So if you listen to the whole beat together, well, if you listen to the main body of the beat, uh, it should sound like this. So this this is the chorus kind of section here. Um, well, no, this is the first session of this chorus. But yeah, if you listen to the main body of the beat, so the main body of the beat sounds like this. And this is like the chorus kind of section. Um, sounds really good and it comes to mixing and stuff I made the string sound a little bit wider so and I also made the um, the distant voices sound a bit more wider as well and the same thing with the other with the choir sound I wanted to make that sound wider and um, yeah I have this track here because I actually made like a welcome to the party remix where I put the acapella from welcome to the party over this beat and it sounded really cool um don't know if i'm gonna put it on youtube though just for copyright reasons but i might do that but anyways um so yeah that's in, that's it in terms of mixing i didn't do anything crazy like i just added some delay delay eq nothing crazy half time also on the master it's just um free soft clipper that's it because i feel like it makes my uh, kicks hit a little bit harder and um yeah let's move on to the structuring of the beat real quick so as you can see here um, this section here, these four eight, these first eight bars, is literally just the intro, and then we move on into uh, the first section. So this is when the rapper starts rapping. They start going off, and the, and the verse section really starts here. So this is still part of the intro. This is when the rapper is still kind of like getting ready to really get into his flows, and then these next eight bars is really the verse, and the verse lasts about sixteen bars. So these 16 bars is just a verse and then these 8 bars here is just the chorus and to signify the chorus I changed up the RK sample and I also added one second, and I also added the uh, choir just to kind of signify that it is the chorus section and then we move on into the verse section here this is the verse section more verse and then we have the, I think I actually made the verse section a bit longer. Um, so I think I made it like a 24 bar instead of like a 16. 
so yeah as you can see here I've got four bars four bars four bars and then this is really the chorus section right here and then it's the same kind of structure again um, I kind of just have like a really long verse section or you can have the verse section like a um, 16 bar and then the chorus section of a 16 bar it depends on what the artist wants to do and then we have the outro here where I just play um, all of the instruments apart from the drums <laughs> So yeah, very dramatic end. Um, so we'll just play like the first section of the beat just so you guys can kind of hear how it sounds um, from start to finish. I also added some, um, what do you call them again? Automation clips um, to the arcade sample just because I felt like the volume kind of sounded a little bit too high in certain sections. So I kind of just messed around with it here. But um, yeah, this isn't to the whole beat. Uh, finally, so you guys can hear how everything comes together. So let's go. So this is the intro. section this is, this is when the rapper starts rapping so the verse section here introduce the strings Section right here. I switch up a little bit, bring the choirs in a bit early in the first section. So the verse right here. And then this could be the chorus or it could be an extended verse. So this could be the chorus as well, or it could be the verse, depends on the rap up. But this is definitely the chorus right here. Sorry about that clicking noise. And that's the main body of the beat. The beat kind of just carries on and it sounds kind of similar. But yeah, that's everything. That's the whole process that went into, the make, uh, that, uh, that went into making the beat. Um, that was the sample I used. That's what I added to the sample. I added all of these uh, different melodies to the sample. These are all the effects I use. These are all of the drums. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. That's how I structured the beat. Uh, you guys also saw how I mastered um, or how I mixed the beat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to hear the Welcome to the Party remix where I put the acapella over this beat, let me know in the comments because I think it sounds really sick. I'm probably going to drop it on my second channel. And um, yeah, so that was pretty much it. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it for the beat. That was the whole process that went into making the beat. That was that was every single component that made up the beat. And that was the mixing process and the structuring process. I wanted to go in depth because I want to start going more in depth into my kind of drill beat tutorials. Just so you guys can know exactly how uh, to go about making a drill beat. Obviously, you don't have to do it like how I did it. But it just gives you guys a little idea that you can build from and then do your own thing when it comes to making drill beats mixing them and structuring them and stuff like that um, I feel like this is one of my best uh, drill beats I feel like it might even be my best one it's definitely one of my favorites and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the beat as much as I enjoyed making it so you guys I just want to plug my second channel I have a second channel called Andre Other Beats and as it sounds it's just going to be my beats channel so a lot of the beats that you guys are going to see in this on this channel the main channel Andre Other I'm going to upload a lot of those beats on Andre Other Beats so if you're a rapper um, and that's what you like you like 
to just to hear the beats like you don't really care about the tutorials you can go over to Andre other beats and um, yeah I'll have a link probably on the screen somewhere and definitely in the description so if you want to just listen to my beats they'll be over there you guys can purchase them I'm gonna make a beat styles and stuff like that too and put them all on there and this beat that was in this video will also be on that channel as well so yeah check that channel out for me um, yeah but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys liked the video if you did like the video though please click the like button down below and subscribe for more because I have way more videos like this coming out every single week don't forget to subscribe to the Andre of a Beats channel and yeah if you guys want you can follow me on Twitter you can follow me on Instagram for all the latest updates and I catch you guys in the next video peace